Sit right down, let's talk on Blackwell's bench. You're watching Blackwell's Bench. Hey guys, welcome back to Blackwell's Bench. Man, oh man, oh man, I have been enjoying you guys' comments on this thankful list. Man, it's been intriguing. Like I said, we're going to deal with, we're going to deal with all those comments and everything at the end of the series. But today, I want to just keep it going, keep it going. I have, I have two more questions today two more questions today name three days in your life that you are most grateful for or thankful for wow wow i can tell you this june 28th 1976 june 28th 1976 it was a monday night at 6301 vine street i got baptized under the tutelage of Jack Evans Sr. Man, that was the day that I went down into the watery graves of baptism and started my Christian journey. Man, I'm trying to tell you something, man. That day, that day, that was a Monday evening. It was a gospel meeting. Man, man, man. And ever since then, I've slipped up along the way. I've messed up along the way. But I know, I know that God has got me. He has got me. I know that for a fact. I know that for a fact that he's got my back as long as I do what he says, as long as I love him the way I'm supposed to love him. And last night, last night, well, one of those, one of these, a night in Bible class, a night in Bible class, uh, Brother Gilbert was talking and he said that God is, wants us to spend time with him time with him because watch this enoch walked with god and talked with god every day and he was taken and he did not taste the sting of death we got to understand that walking and talking with god is what it's all about walking and talking with god that's what pleases god if we stay in communion with God that's what God loves if we just talk to him rely on him and trust him and and do his will that's what gets us by that's what gets us by day two day two in my life man mm, it could be a bunch of day twos but day two is once I realized it was a day I was going through some trouble and I realized that day I trusted in God completely and man, it turned my life around. It turned my life around. That was day two. It, I mean, I was at the end of my rope. I was right there at the end of the rope. There was nothing else for me to do nothing else it, it it was over it 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 was over and god showed up and showed out man i'm trying to tell you that day was a turning point in my life it made me realize that no matter what is going on no matter who is doing it no matter where it's going on, no matter the depth of what's going on, no matter the, the, the trauma that you're going through, God is always there. I remember, I remember God said, I will never leave you or forsake you. Ooh, man, if he's never left us or forsaken us, how can we even think that we're alone. How can we think that? How, how, it's not even possible to think that. How can we even think that we're alone? Because he said he'll never leave us, 
nor forsake us. Wow. Big deal. Big deal. Big deal. That's that's day two. Day one was when I got baptized. Day two is when I was at the end of my rope. I was right there at the end and no other way to turn. God showed up and he showed out and took the reins and has been taking them ever since. Wow. I'm telling you, that is something that I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for the day I got baptized. I'm grateful for the day he showed up and showed out. And you know something? This brings me to my third day. This brings me to my third day. Ooh, I remember, I remember that one of the preachers at, at 63rd and Vine Street, Brother Ron Wright, Brother Ron Wright, I, I love him, I love him, love him. That's my brother, that's my brother. Uh, he said to me, he had the class for the young men. And he said to me, he said, Gerald, you have no direction. I, I said, what? What? Are, what? Are, that statement changed my life. And I was so grateful for it because... At the time, out of the crew, out of the crew, I was the only one that had a job. I was the only one that had a car. I was the only one making money. I was the only one buying my own stuff. I was carting my boys around because I'm the one that had everything. And I'm like, no direction. Well, how is it possible? And I got all this stuff. In. But that's what he said to me. And I, it, it, it was like shocking me. It shocked me. It, like, whoa, like a cold jolt of water to get thrown in your face. And I sat there and he sat there and he explained to me, he said, boy, you can have all these things, but you have no direction. What it is, is he was saying I wasn't focused on how I was able to have these things. God said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and what all these things shall be added unto you that's what he said you're not focused on how you got these things so if you don't focus on how you got these things and give back to the person that 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 gave them to you wow just like I said that day I got baptized that's what God wants. He wants you to walk and talk with him. I was so focused on having stuff that I didn't focus on who gave me the stuff. And then when God showed up and showed out and said, I would never leave you or forsake you. Wow. Wow. I'm telling you right now, God is in the business of blessing you. All you have to do is obey his will. Then. You just have to let him let, understand that he won't leave you or forsake you and then focus on the thing, on the on what he has given you and what he does for you. Walk, talk with him, focus on him, and he'll never leave or forsake you. Man, those are the three days in my life, three days in my life that I am most grateful for and thankful for folks man we're gonna deal with some more stuff like i said in the comments man in the comments keep those comments coming man because i'm loving them i'm loving you guys man i'm loving you guys commenting on everything and talking about everything with me man we're gonna take a day we're gonna take a day i'm gonna announce it. we're gonna take a day and we're gonna deal with the comments man make sure you like subscribe and share this video share this video with all your friends so they can get in on the conversation too share this video with everybody i'm trying to tell you but guess what like i always say there's a seat for everyone on blackwell's bench there's a seat for everyone on blackwell's bench Blackwell's Bench!